Hello, how you doing? Today I'm going to be making some Ethiopian butter or kibbe. I've been meaning to do it for a very long time but been unable to get the ingredients. Now, most of you are never going to be able to make this because the ingredients are very difficult to get hold of outside of East Africa, unless you're in a community of Ethiopians, maybe in Washington or in London, you might be able to get some of this, but otherwise very difficult. We've got koramina, we've got Besobella, we've got Kozaret, and of course we're going to be using butter, and I'm actually using Ethiopian butter as well. Anyway, an absolute essential for so many dishes from Ethiopia. Welcome back to How to Cook Green. There are four main ingredients for Ethiopian spice butter, all of which are quite difficult, they're very difficult in fact to get outside of East Africa unless you live in a Ethiopian community. They are Kosalet, Besobela, Koramina and of course butter. This is Kosalet, this is Besobela, this is Koramina. We're going to dry roast the Koramina just for like two or three minutes on an above medium flame. Koramina is a very large black cardamom and those are the seeds that come from inside of it and they've got a really big eucalyptus, you know, menthol type flavor. So we're going to just roast them around and then we're going to grind them into a powder. Okay, so we've ground up our Koramina. There it is there. I mean, I wish you could really smell it. It's like it's so super pungent. It's like a, uh, like a Vicks vapor rub, you know? It really is very pungent. Okay, so the, the, the fourth main ingredient is butter. Now you can see I've got a lot of butter in there. The heat is on nice and low. Now we're gonna cook this butter and melt it down and we're gonna be adding our other three ingredients. Now again, what's important is Ethiopian butter. If you can get it, that, that doesn't kind of, it's not quite the same as you know, regular butter we get in, you know, Europe or in America. Ethiopian butter is where it's all at. If you've got that, you've got some good kibbeh. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the kosaret. Just going to crush that in. Even the twigs and everything, the wood from that gives it a lovely flavour. The amount you can sort of, you know, adjust as you want. The beso bella. In that goes. And then the Koramina, which like I say is a giant black cardamom. So imagine a black cardamom that's kind of four or five times the size. It's like that, that sort of size. And really pungent, incredible menthol eucalyptus smell. We're gonna cook this now on a low heat for like 45 minutes to an hour maybe. It has to be very low. Now some people would also put in turmeric or in our malik erd. You can add salt to it. We don't need to because we've got a nice Ethiopian butter. And some people would even put in fresh garlic. Garlic, that's up to you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that go now 45 minutes to an hour. We're gonna give it a stir a few times. Okay, I've just turned the heat off. That is absolutely beautiful. This whole kitchen smells amazing. What we're gonna do is let it cool down just a little bit and then we're gonna stick it through a sieve to get all of those ingredients out. Okay, so I sieve that through into another saucepan and so you've just basically got the flavored butter now. That is still extremely hot. You might be able to see that still kind of smoking away a little bit. Now, what you need to do is let it settle down, cool down. You can then decanter it into some sort of smaller jars if you want. You can put some in the refrigerator. You can even freeze it. So I'm going to put, you know, a little bit of that in a jar so I can use it straight away. And then the rest of it, I'm going to freeze and then I'll just be chopping it off the block as I need it. Fantastic stuff. I hope you enjoy that. Now, like I say, you're probably never going to be able to make this because it's so difficult to get the ingredients. But anyway, there you go. An essential for Ethiopian cooking. Lots of love. Hello, thanks a lot for stopping by How to Cook Great. Now, if you like what you see, there's over 3,000 other cooking videos on our channel. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment and I'll try and get back to you.